We're here in Seaside, and it's Thursday. I think it's March 3rd, and we are heading out. We're going up over the hill here, Tillamook Head, and we're going to be going into E. Cola State Park and down to Cannon Beach, where we have a vehicle sitting. And this is our last leg of the Oregon Coast Trail in Clatsop County. And then we'll have two counties finished. Well, we're here at the actual trailhead to the trail that goes over the hill and we're going to now leave the pavement and get on trail and work our way up for top of Tillamook Head. Well we just came up through that way and hiking two days after a major atmospheric river or as we used to call it, Pineapple Express event means there's plenty of water and plenty of mud and the ground's a little soft in a lot of spots but it's not bad and just wearing our waterproof hiking shoes i'm wearing my lone peaks of waterproof ones and i'm not sure what mike's wearing but it's really been been pretty good getting up into the fog a little bit here we've come to a i think a four-way junction of some kind um i'm guessing that's the trail out that way so we're going to probably swing around and go up that way rather than these other trail sections we have here. Mike's figuring that out with Gaia right now. Well, it isn't really showing up, but right down there is uh, an old buckskin log laying there. And back at the trailhead, there was a hiker who... She said she used to live here, and there was a particular log she wanted to hike out to that she could sit on with a great view, but she wasn't able to find it this morning. My thought is that right back there where we were at that junction, there was one trail that sort of headed that direction, but that might have been it. But we'll find out as I go along. Well, we've reached the land of switchbacks. We've been switching back, coming up the hill. I just took my raincoat off. Took my rain pants off earlier because I'm getting plenty warm just climbing up. Starting to see the blowdown up in here, so I wonder how much there is. A lot of this trail has gotten beaten up with blowdown. I don't know about this particular section of trail, but I would not be surprised because a lot of other sections on the coast have got beat up. Well, we're up here on the trail. It's just a lot of switchbacks going around. Starting to get in some good sized trees, but the trail switches here and you start to see the blowdowns. Might be quite a few of those, I don't know. Other parts of this trail, like when we did the section last week down south of Arts Cape, it was just, there was like a bomb went off up there. So we're gonna keep going and so far, other than being a little muddy, and this trail has been really highly used, you can tell. But it's been, been good. Been fun. We've come up here into the fog. And it's just, It is really cool here. Well, there's a number of viewpoints up here, and here's one. And it's kind of cool, the sunlight's on that rock, and it's on the Tillamook Rock Lighthouse out there, too. Okay, we just came up from that way, and there's a pretty good viewpoint right in here. The trail's been pretty good. It climbed at first, through the switchbacks quite a bit, and then now up here, it's just kind of rolling up and down, up and down. Quite a bit of mud, though, in places.
what I've been noticing is anywhere it's nice and smooth in a wet spot is because your foot's going to sink in there a couple inches. So definitely if you're hiking this time of year, which is March, I would really recommend something with really good traction and waterproof shoes if you have them. You don't need, you know, boots unless you want to wear them, of course. But you're definitely going to want something with some good traction because there's some spots where it's a little slick and, you know, a person could slide around a little bit. Okay, so right now we found a, a mess. Uh, I can see the trail on the other side, so we got to figure out how we're going to get through it. I'm not going to do a wonderlust and put one in my, my chest here. A side saddle, side saddle. Well, we made it to the hiker shelters here. Not sure who built them. They look like they could use some help. But. I kind of wish they had more of this kind of stuff around where, you know, hikers could benefit from some of these places. Tell them look Rock Lighthouse. I'm going to zoom in. I brought my camera with a bigger lens, pack that up here. It's fairly, he fairly hefty in my pack. When I took it out and then had lunch back there at the shelters and then put my pack on, but it sure felt lighter. While Mike's going back to get his glove, it's easy to drop a glove. I did that earlier and I had to backtrack a ways and pick up my glove. This trail is really nice. I like the way they've got it, the stuff thrown out of the side of it and everything. So you could actually walk side by side and talk on this trail. Yeah, it's just the access road. We had the trails in here have a loop and this access road is part of it. And because of the weather and how muddy things are we decided to go ahead and just come down this one it's about the same distance as the other one and last time i went down the other one i didn't really have any views but but that was you know quite a few years ago too so it could have changed well that's indian beach the tide's in and it's up pretty good Down here at Indian Beach. Well, this is a new section of trail, and it's been a little bit up and down, rolly, but not bad. There was one area that was flooded that we had to go around. Pretty cola at the main parking area, and down there is the sea stacks just off Cannon Beach. And I've never seen this place empty. I've seen it with one or two cars, but I don't know if I've ever seen it empty.
Well, we're pretty much done. We're here at Les Shirley Park, which is a nice place to park if you're uh, coming over the hill from Seaside. It's right here at the bottom where uh, the road up to the Ecola Park comes out.